Stanford University. One, two, three. Thank you. Who better to dedicate a law building than the leading law enforcement officer in the country, the person who sets the legal policy of the national government and who, in effect, runs the largest law firm in the world? Just as surely as it has in the past, in the future, our great nation will look to this institution and to the lawyers who have graced this campus for direction and for leadership. The building we now dedicate is the embodiment of an idea a vision of all that is and can be good in the legal profession. The impetus for this building was a really generous gift by Bill Newcomb, who's a graduate of the law school, someone who's been really intensely involved in the law school, cares about legal education. It's kind of unique building, you know? I mean, I don't think I've seen anything quite like it. The central feature of the building is the second floor courtyard. That's really the centerpiece around which all else takes place. And no matter where you go in the building, it's natural light. There's no corridor that doesn't end with natural light coming in. So everything is designed to make it inviting to be here and to move around through the building. On one side, you've got the old law school, which is 1970-style brutalist architecture. On the other side, you've got Munger, which is a very traditional architecture. And then on the third side, you've got these small Victorian houses. And to come up with something that would fit all three when you've got really radically different styles was a real challenge. And I think the architects not only came up with something that fit all three, but that actually makes each of them look better. Everybody in the school not only thinks the building is very beautiful, but feels that it really captures what they hoped for, that it will enable them to do the kinds of things they want to do better. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.